Thank goodness you're both all right. Unfortunately, we have nothing further to report apart from the loss of the gate. But tell us, how did you fare on the mountain? Golbez aspires to deliver Void Scent unto the Source. Where they may die and return to the life stream to be reborn. Far be it for me to deny them, but the cost to our people would be beyond unconscionable. Indeed. Void Scent themselves are inherently dangerous. Never mind the chaos sure to follow should the barrier twixt our worlds be shattered would be naught less than a calamity. Certainly not. That said, our task has been rendered rather difficult. Indeed. Rubicante hath deprived us of a means to cross into the void. Kenyatso's faint. That was doubtless what he meant when he said his part was done. Golbez sacrificed two archfiends just to stop us. He must need more time to break the barrier to our world. Then the days ahead will be critical. We must find a way back to the Thirteens. We could employ another Atomos, but that approach would only be viable if we found another planar fissure. An unlikely prospect. Better we explore other avenues. If you will excuse my absence, I shall return to Charlian to look for information. By all means. Meanwhile, I shall seek the counsel of our alchemists. Time is of the essence, so wish me luck. I'm no scholar. I'll find another way to keep myself busy here. <laughs> Rest assured, I never shirk my training. I will be ready for whatever awaits. Zero. May we call upon thee when next we venture unto the Thirteenth. Aye. And in case you're wondering, I won't ask for further payment. I will go for myself, to try and understand why I spoke the words I said to Rubicante. And the fire I felt within, when you all came to my aid in Galamald. While our esteemed sorceress battles her tomes, let us see to our own affairs. <laughs> <laughs>